What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and coming back at you with another video. And today I just got the Taylor Speed Stirrer. And this is a magnetic stirrer so that you can do your testing way faster because you all know how much everyone hates testing their calcium, their alkalinity, their magnesium. So I went to uh, Hannah Checkers for my alkalinity, but I still like the Red Sea um, for the calcium and I still like the salivar for the magnesium. So I still need to stir those, but this is gonna make it so that my measurements are way more accurate and they're gonna be way more spot on. Let's get to the unboxing part. Now this is pretty easy unboxing. There's gonna be like three things in here. Batteries, awesome. They give you energizer batteries so you know it's not one of those that you have to go out and buy your own batteries. It comes with it. And for 30 bucks, it should be, you know, coming with it. Because all it is is a magnetic stirrer. So you got the stirrer, you got the container, which this is mostly for pool stuff. So if you know, if you're looking for this for a pool review, it will definitely work for a pool. And it also comes with batteries and the box. So three things. Well, four if you count the little magnetic stirrer at the bottom. Hopefully, this will fit in my um, my vials. I don't know if it will. Oh man, this might be fun. Ha! Let's see. So you're probably wondering, does this magnetic stirrer fit in one of the Red Sea vials? Well, there's only one way to find out. I don't know, man. I really doubt this is gonna fit. I may have to get another one. Oh, it kind of fits. Barely, but it does. All right, now the next step is to put the batteries in and see if it's gonna actually stir it. All right, so we know it fits this vial and I have it all put together. You'll see it spin. Perfect. Now, one of the things I really like about this is you can see the light. Oh, it's beautiful. So you're always gonna get an accurate measurement. It's not gonna be determined based on the light in the room and the sun. You'll easily be able to get a good measurement. Now, let's see, is it gonna be able to spin in the Red Sea vial? No, it is not. Well, I'm gonna have to get a smaller stirrer. I can feel it kind of move around here, but yeah, you're gonna need a smaller stirrer. So let me go and find a smaller stirrer and it'll probably be a little bit long before I get the review up, but postpone this for a little bit. I'll see you guys in, I don't know, a week or two. So two weeks later, I finally got my magnetic stirrers and I had to get a bunch of different sizes and pretty much they were like just 10 bucks on Amazon. So hopefully, well, I know some of these are gonna fit and I had to get them to fit different um, stirrers. So we have the Red Sea little uh, cuvette or holder. And then we also have the Salifert one. So I'm gonna try one in each and do some of my testing and let you know how this goes. Hopefully this speeds it up. But now I'm in the Hannah, or not Hannah, the Taylor Speedster for 40 bucks now, so it's kind of getting expensive with all these extra stirrers and stuff you have to get. Let's try this out with the Red Sea. Now I'm going to do one of these little magnetic stirrers, drop it in there, and then follow the directions on the card and see how it goes. Let's turn this puppy on. All right, it's stirring. That'd be terrible if it didn't stir, I'd be so mad. All right, so let's do five drops of a solution. One, two, three, four, five. I always count it out because I'm an idiot and sometimes I forget how many drops I put in. All right, and now time for a scoop of the B powder. Any day now. Trying to get that perfect amount. Eh, close enough. All right, now normally they have four. Oh wow, that like really mixed up quick. Huh, nice. I'm liking this, I'm really liking this. Okay, so normally they have the little handy dandy titrator and put it on. 
and that's you know you know you put it on there and then you just kind of push down on the plunger for the pipette i'm gonna try it free-handed and see how this works out so i need to have it changed to blue let's see if this is going to work out the way i think it is if not i always got the little handy dandy titrator all right so i get it at the one mark and let's just go for it Let's see, we're about at 400 now. Yep, we're around the 400 mark. Going in the 420s. All right, I, that's pretty nice. It's almost there. What do you guys think? Another drop. One more for good measure. I still think that's a little purple. I like the light. Oops. Thought the light. Ah, there's the light. I don't know. That looks... That looks purple to me. Yeah, it's definitely purple. Alright, let's do two more drops. Alright, that's definitely it. Definitely it. And it stopped at... Ah, come on, buddy. One. So that means... My calcium is at 450. That's about where I thought it would be. That's pretty good. Pretty solid calcium. All right, and I do kind of like, well, one thing I noticed is if you have the light on, you can hit the light button and it automatically starts stirring. But you can also stir without the light on. And you know, it works great. Huh. All right, it was really, really easy to do that. Okay, I like it. Now let's try the Magnesium test from Salifert. So for this one, I'm gonna try the little shorter guy. The little short and stubby. <laughs> short and stubby. All right, so this guy's going in here and hopefully, yes, that should fit perfectly. Let's start spinning. All right, I was a little worried it'd knock it over. I don't think it's gonna knock it over. All right, so we're gonna go five drops of the magnesium part solution. Oops, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right, next we're gonna do, ah, oh, shoot, I'm an idiot. You're not supposed to be stirring it just yet. Oh, uh, well, let's go and do this again. Okay, got a little antsy on the last one. Two milliliters of sample water. Then we're gonna put in my dropper, five drops of the Salifert solution for magnesium. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna, sorry, I yelled into the microphone since I'm an idiot. Now we're going to stir it after we put in our spoonful of the powder. Stir that for 10 seconds and then start our titration. All right, let's not screw this one up. All right, let's do this, baby. Okay, not bad. I'm liking it, it's not falling over. I really wish I had like a um, back piece that could kind of hold this in place a little bit better than what it is right now. You know, kind of like a half moon to give it more support. All right, so now we're gonna start our titration and see how easy this puppy is. All right, again, starting off. There we got one. And my magnesium's always high, so it's gonna probably be very close to the bottom. Dun, 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 dun. Should be closing in on it. Maybe two more drops. Two, three, there it is. So, I had about four left, which means my magnesium is 1440. 
Mm, that looks a little purple. Yeah, it still looks a little purple. Let's see if I can go a little farther. Oh yeah, definitely. So the last two drops, I think I got it on 1470. All right, that was pretty. So my first impressions on the Taylor Speedster. Now this is originally made for pools because I mean, I guess that there was a market for it in pools, but there is definitely a market for it in the reefing hobby for sure. So this is not really designed for like your test kits because our test vials are smaller because we're working with smaller sample sizes. However, you can definitely use it and modify it. You're gonna have to buy the little additional um, stirs, the magnetic stirs. I got mine off Amazon. I'll uh, put in the link below and you can check them out. They were 10 bucks. So I believe that the speed stir, the Taylor speed stir on Amazon cost me like $32 plus $10 for the magnetic stirs. So you're looking at like $42. Now, this is just an accessory to your other testing kits and everything. I would say, you know, if you're like really good at testing, for me, every Sunday, it's a day of rest and the day to test. So I test my water every Sunday religiously. Um, I mean, I like it. It adds a little bit to the cleanup, but I feel like the accuracy is a little bit better because I can see the solution being mixed up more because sometimes you know how we, you will titrate and then we're like, oh, I think it's right there. And all of a sudden it, it shifts in color and you're like, oh crap. So then you add like an additional, for my cows, I might add additional like 10 parts per million to it. Be like, okay, well this was it. With the Speedster, I think that the solution does dissolve faster and you can get possibly a more accurate reading. I do like the fact how it had the light that you can do right here. You can push it, check it out, it's amazing. Um, and you can look at it in uh, various environments. Right now, the window's open, the sun's shining, but you know, sometimes there's rainy days. When there's rainy days, it's cloudy out. And when it's cloudy out, it's harder to see because you're using the light in the room. The light in the room is more of a warm light, plus you got the blues from the fish tank. It can just kind of throw your eye off a bit. So I would recommend the Speedster if you really have a hard time reading the colors or you just don't like, you know, swishing the solution and you're kind of like clumsy and you can spill it sometimes. If not, you know, if you can do it by hand and you got a great eye, I don't really think you need the Speedster. But if you kind of want a new little gadget toy to help you out, make it go a little bit faster, well then this, this product's for you. Didn't add any, you know, time for the cleanup or anything like that because it was really easy to pop the magnets out or the magnetic stirrers out, wash them off, they're good to go. But that's about all I got, guys. So, what do you think about this? Is this something you would use? Is it something you already use? If you do, let me know in those comments below, and I'll see you next time.